Good afternoon, YouTube. Hello, Facebook. How are you guys doing today? It is a beautiful day in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. And I tell you what, we're doing something very different today. I've got Chris hanging out in the background. Uh, we'll be bringing him on in just a second. Uh, if you look behind me, it looks a little different. Well, that's because my laptop is currently set up in the biggest Ray Ray kitchen. Uh, we're going to be talking about food today for the duration. That's going to be the focus of the conversation. The conversation almost always goes there. Uh, but uh, we've talked about it some. Chris and I just launched a new YouTube channel that actually got content put on it last night. We got our first two videos up. If I did my job right, there's a link in the description down below. Uh, we currently only have about a dozen subscribers, so I don't have a custom URL yet. You, know, you have to have 100 subscribers before we can make an official you know, URL. So we're, we're getting there. So in uh, 12 hours, it's not terrible. It takes a while to get these things going. Uh, so anyway, I would love to invite you guys to check that out. Um, so the name of the channel is Everyone Eats. So because, well, literally everyone eats. Uh, but today we're going to be talking about how um, I am going to make a corn turkey. And uh, just a quick breakdown. I'm going to break the bird down, give you guys some recipe ideas. And then uh, as we make those things, um, those videos will show up on the channel. Uh, so wifey inspired uh, some ideas for me to get floating around. And uh, so I've come up with a handful of ideas and a few that I already had that I do anyway. So I'm excited to, to share that. So I'm starting to see a lot of comments popping up here on the screen for me. So hello, Haley. How are you doing today? Hello, Stephanie Carper. Thanks for being here. Hello, Laura and uh, Marsha. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate y'all being here. And tomorrow's Easter, so happy Easter to everybody. Um, we'll definitely be going live again tomorrow, so I'll get to say happy Easter to everybody on Easter. So wifey's in here. She's going to be helping me out. So we've got multiple cameras set up today. So right now I'm talking to you guys from my laptop. We're going to be streaming also from the cell phone. Wifey's going to be my PA, my production assistant. Actually, oh, there's wifey right now. Hello, wifey. Hello. So once you once you come over here behind me, let's let's make this interesting. So while while we're live, oh there's there's wifey. You see her on one camera, and oh you see her on two cameras. Woo! The power of technology! Yay! So you want to say hi? To, they haven't seen you in a while, wifey. You want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> you guys know wifey's always so excited to be on camera. I want you to say hi. So how, how's your How's your life been, wife? You've been doing good? It's been busy. Been busy? Yeah. Are you glad for the weekend? Yes, I am. Are you excited for the corn turkey? No. Why not? Um, wifey never gets excited. You want to see wifey get excited? Talk not. about NBA basketball or bread. That's not true at all. It is very true. Do you want to get excited right now? Um, no, only because I'm picking on you. If I gave you a fresh loaf of bread and took you to an NBA game, you would spaz out. Hey, you guys want to see wifey smile? I love it when wifey smiles. Honey, nice. picture me falling down the stairs. Isn't that sweet? I know I'm loved. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we're going to dive right into breaking down a turkey and give you guys some recipe ideas and plant those seeds in your brain that we're going to see a lot of new content on the new channel on what we're going to do with our corn turkey. And in the meantime, I'm going to bring Chris on. Hey, Chris. How you doing? Fantastic. How are you today? I'm doing great. This is this is so much fun. This this is fun. So I, I think oh, we're Oh, wow. Hey. What's up? I got I to gotta throw this up here. Uh, Laura's talking about banana bread, and that is actually going to be on my segment. We're going to talk a little Ooh. bit about banana bread. I don't know if we're going to make it yet because there's got a lot of things going on. We both have a lot of things going on in our shows. Yes. So this is a collaborative for Everyone Eats. So, again, make sure to like and subscribe Everyone Eats on YouTube. And we got to get those subs up. Also, yes, find it on Facebook. You know, I'm the Facebookian over here saying we got to get it on Facebook, too. So uh, I, should, I should change that banner. We should make it where it's uh, Facebook and YouTube. Facebook and YouTube, yeah. And I tell you what, I'm glad we saw banana bread. Wifey makes some banging ass banana bread, dude. Like, damn. Really? Well, I need yeah. to talk to Wifey then about uh, your recipe. Maybe we can get uh, Jessica and Wifey to talk about it. 
Hey, hey, wifey, will you make us some banana bread? I can. I need oh, we need to cut to wifey. Oh, I'm sorry. Hang on. It's okay. No, it's okay. <laughs> so, wifey, will you make us banana bread? I can, yeah. Yeah. So, she has her own fantastic recipe, dude. Like, all her. She does a great. We've even sent banana bread to, what, how many? Three different countries, I think. I think. Um, one of my cousins is an active duty uh, Navy. He's currently in Japan. Uh, we haven't sent him any banana bread to Japan, but we've sent him some to other places he has been stationed. Like, no lie. Look at her. You can see she's excited about it. She's like, Irma Gerd, I want to make banana bread. I didn't like baking, but this is like. <laughs> Putting wifey on the spot. So, <laughs> I, I see you got wifey on the spot over there. I've, I've got uh, my girlfriend is is been getting ready to to sous chef for me. Ooh, good times. So she's looking extra cute over there. Got her apron and everything. Yay! And I got to give a shout out to Laura. She said she just subbed the new channel. So thank you so much, Laura. I appreciate that. Totally awesome. helping us out here. Uh, I hope you enjoy those recipe videos. Um, those two are biggest Ray Ray originals. Um, so hopefully you get into that and uh, I'm getting asked where's Dawn. So let's bring, before we get into the Turkey and, uh, the food part, let's bring uh Dawn Dawn on here real quick and I'll let her say hi to the world. I'm going to pull off for a second here. Call me back on in a minute. I'm just going to take care of some tech stuff in the backstage. Yeah. Sounds like a winner. All right, guys. So I'm excited to jump into this. And again, this, what we're doing today is brand new to us. Chris and I have never done this. I've never seen food done like this before. We've all seen a lot of edited videos with food. I've never seen a live stream like this with food before. Um, so anyway, we're giving it a shot. We're having fun with this new software that we're playing with. Oh, here's the kiddo. Come here, Don Don. I'll pick you up. Arrgh, there's Don. Say hi, Don. Look at the green dot. Hi. You having a good day, baby? Totally. Yeah. Yeah. What? Oh, I thought you knew to look at the green dot. Sorry, why? Oh, wifey didn't know to look at the green dot. See the, the green dot right there, baby? That's where the camera is. So, yeah, have you had a good Saturday? Hey, did you help mommy mow the yard today? Yes. Yeah, I did a great job, didn't you? I, I didn't really do it all. Oh, did you climb a tree at least? Yeah, well, if you're up in the tree, you're out of the way, right? Yeah. See, that's helping. Yeah. Yeah, that's good stuff. So, I, I got to tell you guys this, too. Uh, we bought a new lawnmower and weed eater a couple weeks ago. And um, complete off the topic here. My apology, but I got to tell you this. So normally I want the biggest, beefiest thing there is in the world just because I'm a dude and I'm a big guy. But I, we found some battery-powered lawnmowers and weed eaters that are incredible. So a uh, huge shout-out to Cobalt. Um, not a paid endorsement, but I found these products. They were relatively inexpensive. And uh, I can use them. They get the job done. Wifey can do it. Um, just some little push buttons. And they get the job. It's fantastic. And so, and she mows faster than me. Um, I'm big and slow, and she is nimble and quick. So maybe uh, she has a new job. What do you think, wife? She's like, yeah, whatever, dude. I don't mind mowing. <laughs> so anyway, um, let's see. Laura's asking, you already cut your grass? Well, yeah, this is the second time we've already cut our grass this year. Um, I mowed two weeks ago, and then uh, she mowed again today. So one of the pleasures of living in Oklahoma. Uh, we get grass early. Um, we're expected to get down to freezing again tonight. So I'm so glad that we don't have a garden in yet because half of the seedlings might just die anyway of the weather. So, but yeah, that's uh, life life in Oklahoma. Don, Don, you got a couple of highs here. Deborah Miller says hello. Can you say hi, Deborah? Hi, Deborah. Can you say hi, Laura? Hi, Laura. All right. So, uh, Don, I'm going to, you're making my leg fall asleep. I got you in a weird position in this kitchen chair. So go back. You want to watch your tablet again? Okay. All right. So Wifey's hanging out with Don Don. It looks like Chris is back. Yep. All I'm right. Just doing backstage stuff, you know, making sure I got you know taking care of some uh, Facebook comments and things like that. So, are we ready to look at some food? Because I like yes. looking at food. Yes. I like eating it more though. Right. So mind you, I'm not cooking anything today. Um, oh, I just saw Jessica. Hi, Jessica. Come on, come say hi. Yep. See, she's all ready for this uh, next live stream. Oh, there she is. I'm loving the bunny ears, by the way. That's super cute. I thought so. I like the bunny ears. <laughs> See, so you, you always have your little, you know, side guests of Don and, and Wifey. And so yeah. now I'm. You got to do it, right? Yeah. No, nothing wrong with that. 
So, okay, so again, I'm not actually cooking anything today. I'm getting things ready to cook. So okay. uh, if you, you want to do a lot of prep in just a second, I've got to move over to another spot in the kitchen. And I'm actually yeah. going to grab a handful of spices, and uh, I should have thought about that, and even a piece of tinfoil, um, so we can get things legit ready and squared away. So give me about a minute and a half, and uh, I'll All let right. you talk, and we'll, we'll dive into making magic happen. All right. Well, while he's doing that and getting ready, uh, I've, I just want to address some of the uh, comments here. We've got Deborah Miller over here saying, Jessica, love the bunny ears. So, um, Jessica, you're getting some love over there from uh, the biggest Ray Ray family. And let's go over here. Laura. Hi, Jessica. <laughs> you're, you're getting popular on biggest Ray Ray. <laughs> Let's see here. We got Lori. You already cut your. We already talked about the grass cutting. We already did that. So uh, let's go over here, Deborah. Hi, Don. What that slight del delayed there? See, normally I'd be doing this while he's on the air, but now we got to do producing and entertaining you guys. So I'm going to ask you pose a question. What holidays do you enjoy a turkey for? So tell me a little bit about what you guys use turkeys for. Will you cook stuff for people on a budget? Uh, so that's a really good question. So while you guys are answering the question about what do you guys use turkeys for, I'm going to bring up Laura's question here. This is all on a budget. That's actually kind of one of the things we want to do. We didn't want to do a lot of really expensive uh, dining experiences. And partially it's because Ray and I, big foodies, love cooking and amateur, amateur chefs. And so when we said everyone eats, we wanted to have everyone, every day, everybody kind of food for everyone eats. So make sure to go like and subscribe to Let Everyone Eats. We need subs and Facebook and go like Facebook, uh, YouTube. <laughs> subscribe to YouTube, like Facebook. That's how it works. So yes, we will be working a budget. Um, I just love this channel. Let's see this. Uh, Deborah, thank you for making me smile. Oh, this is one of the reasons I actually love working with Ray is, is I've done a lot of producing in the past, but I don't get to have this kind of interaction that Ray's developed a great audience. So that's right now. And I can't tell. Uh, Ray, give me a wave if you are ready. So that, that, yep. Are you ready? All right. We're bringing Ray back. And got to unmute that. Hang on. Yeah, can, you, can you guys hear me okay, Chris? I sure can. Okay. Good deal. So, honey, actually, we got an echo, though. Back. We're getting a little bit of feedback there. All right. Sorry. It's okay. So, let's try right. that. Oh, that's bad. Bad, bad. Chris, will you mute the, mute the mic on the – don't touch – no, honey, let Chris mute my mic. Mm -hmm. I'm the mic on the, the laptop's not coming through at all. Okay. So I think is your laptop speaker on? Oh, hit the mute button on the laptop, honey. Do that. There you go. Let's see. There that we go. Uh -huh, Problem much solved. Excellent. Okay. All so right. just so you guys, I'm putting on a glove to keep me from cutting my fingers off. And Don, Don, I'm going to ask you to stay back, baby, because I've got a knife. And oh, I don't wow, want to cut that? one accident. Okay, we got to stay safe. Okay. So Don just ran away. Bless her heart. So anyway, I'm going to break this turkey down. I've got a 12-pound bird right here. I didn't want to get anything too big for this. This isn't a Thanksgiving dinner. I'm not feeding 10 or 12 people. I'm just feeding me, wifey, and Dawn and having food for later on. So, and if you guys hear running, that's the kid. She's running back and forth throughout the house. So not a full production studio. This is actually the Ray Ray kitchen. So anyway, 12-pound bird. And uh, we've got a handful of ideas that we're going to use this bird for instead of just cooking a whole turkey. Whole turkeys take three and a half to four hours. I don't want to deal with that. I'm going to break this down to a component level, have a couple of turkey legs, the wings, the thighs, and the breast, all used for different things. So one of the first things I'm going to, and I'm terrible at this, by the way, so don't think you're looking at a pro chef. I have zero culinary training other than working at a fast food joint when I was in high school, and we made approximately zero turkeys there. So I'm going to take my legs. I'm going to cut these legs off just right away. They're, they're in my way. I don't want to deal with them. And you might not necessarily see what I'm doing, but I just put a huge flesh wound on this turkey. He's not walking ever again. And are you enjoying this wife? Yeah. Yeah? You like watching me cut things? Um, I don't know about that. I think you do. You're a weirdo. I am weird. I will give you that. <laughs> At least you admit it. I can get on board with that. Yeah, I'm moving these up. No, move those. I'm just going to. Just rip that oh. guy right off of there. You got the, the joints just come right out, just like on a chicken. Yeah. They come right out. I'm glad you're not a doctor. I, I'm glad I'm not a doctor too. Because that's one messed up bird. It is. But hey, it doesn't matter what it looks like when you cook it as long as it tastes great, it's all that matters, right? 
That is very true. And so there we have a leg. And just uh, right now, what's wrong? You made a noise, honey. No. What's you made noises? Sorry. That makes me worry. Like like I did something when you make noise. So we can see we have a one-legged turkey. He is going to lose a foot race. Bless his heart. Um, but it's all right. I hope he doesn't run much anyway. I'm going to spin this guy around. I'm going to cut off the other leg. And isn't this fun, by the way? Did you guys expect to see Big as Ray Ray just cut up a bird today? I don't think anyone expects to see that on a Saturday, especially when it's not Thanksgiving. So this is about as original a content as you're going to get today, guys. Oh, did you hear those bones break? So this guy's being a little difficult. I'm just cutting this leg off right here. So I'm going to wrap one of these legs up in foil. We're going to spice this up and wrap it up. And I'm going to bake this in the oven later. And we're just going to have leg meat for dinner one night. Just with some mashed potatoes, a great vegetable, some Hawaiian rolls. Just super, super simple. And when you break these things down, they cook a lot faster in the oven than again when you cook a whole turkey. So if you spend a few minutes and just break it down beforehand, you'll save yourself hours later on. Come here, turkey leg. Come here. Oh, look at that. Come here, turkey. Come here, you turkey leg. And this is the first time I've done this on camera before. I'm a little nervous, actually. I don't know why I'm nervous being on camera, but this is not that I've done before, so it's kind of weird. Come here. Why is this being difficult? And I'm sure people at home are laughing at me right now, like, this guy doesn't know how to cut up a turkey. Probably. And I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> oh, here's another turkey leg. Oh, gosh. I hope this doesn't. But anyway, I got a little extra, extra little love here. So I'm just going to put these in the bowl for right now. And as you can see, come here, turkey. He's not going to stand up on his own too well. Bless his little turkey heart. So anyway, we got the hardest part done, right? For me, that's always one of the hard parts. So now I'm just going to. Did you want to see? What no, no, I don't need to see. Okay. I'm good. I'm going to trust you to hold the camera. Whatever it looks like is what it looks like. I don't need to see it well, right no, now. Well, no, people are saying stuff. So oh, that's sure. right. Chris is there. He can. He's managing the comments. All right. So he's producing. I'll let him do his magic. And that's cool. And then also later on today, right after this live stream, Chris is going to do his own live stream and show you guys what he's going to do with his turkey. So be sure to stay tuned and watch what he's doing as well because what I do and what he does very different. So you're getting a lot of turkey variety today. Yeah. I've never said that before. So make that here because I'm all here. I is medium and it's a humble thing. So um, here I'm just cutting into the wing. Just want to cut around this little bone right here. And again, if you guys are chefs, if you're pros at this, you're going to find a much better way to do it than I am. And I'm just doing all the best I know how to do. I'm a whole heck of a lot better at cooking this stuff than I am cutting it. I tell you what. And I always seem to have more problems when people are watching me. I, I legit get nervous. You know, I'm the only one really one here. I know, but there's people on the internet watching me. I know. Just pretend they're in their quarantine clothing. Oh, gosh. There are people. <laughs> Why if you just told me to pretend y'all are in your quarantine clothing? So I'm expecting y'all to dress up like you're going to a ball in Frozen 2. So y'all are in your Sunday best. And there's this knuckle right here that's just not wanting to let go. So I'm just going to chop right through it. I'm going to get right through this. Oh. Maybe. Oh, gosh. No, you're not. I'm not getting through it. Oh, there it goes. So there's a wing right here and an extra little piece of white meat that probably should have stayed. But I'm just going to put this in the bowl. We're going to deal with the wings a little later. So now I'm going to attempt to do this wing a little better than I did the first one. Oh my goodness, this is so much fun. I'm trying to expose that bone a little bit to make it easier to cut through. There's definitely a joint in here. If you hit it right with your knife, it'll just go right through. And I think I got it a little easier this time. I say that. Ah, 
See how easy it is if you do it right? So we'll set the wing over here just for now. Now, I really have just got the, the, the breasts left to deal with. Now, one of these turkey breasts, I'm going to set to the side absolutely for later. I'm going to wrap it in bacon and bake it in the oven. And I'll give you guys a step-by-step -step guide on how I make a bacon weave, the seasoning that I'm going to put on this before and after I wrap it in bacon. And then we're going to take the other turkey breast and cook it in the Ninja pressure cooker slash air fryer. So a couple other recipes we're going to have out of this. I'm going to keep the carcass. We're going to use that to make a stock. And I'm going to see if wifey will be nice enough to help me come up with a yummy recipe for a pot pie. Um, I've never made one myself, but she's made a handful and she's really good at it. So we'll see if we can do a tag team effort on that. And then we're going to make a huge sandwich we can bake in the oven. So we're going to mix some of the dark meat and the white wheat with that because the Ray Ray house, we're all about diversity. That's right. Huh, wifey? No turkey left behind. So, yeah, so yeah, you do need punch. Honey, when you talk, they can hear you. You got to speak up. That's fine. It says, Are you reading the comment to me? Yes. What'd they say? So that you need to be punched twice. And I agree. For what do I get punched twice for? What I do? Is it because I cut the. This turkey is sitting here like this is merely a flesh wound. All I did was remove his arms and his legs. I think this turkey is a Money Python fan. Could be. That's the best show. So, Wifey's a huge fan of Monty Python. If you want to make her laugh, Tell her somebody in your family smells like elderberry. <laughs> <laughs> She's laughing right now. And your battery's like 20%. Uh-oh, my cell phone battery's going down? Yep. So anyway, so there's a, there's a ridge bone at the top of the turkey, and I'm trying to feel for that and just slice down that ridge bone. So I want to take this the, the breast off in as one massive solid piece as possible. I want to have it remain intact so I can have a beautiful turkey breast to wrap in bacon later for you guys. And I think I'm getting there quite, quite nicely, in fact. I'm excited for this. Laura wants to know where the wishbone's at. Oh, the wishbone. So if we look at the front of the turkey, and we can't see it from here just yet, I'll carve it out later, but it's at the front of the bird and sits in a wedge right here in between the turkey breasts. So I'm, I can feel it right there. I'll see what I can do to cut it out and show it to you in just a few minutes. So here I've got this one breast just working my way down. Oh, oh, that's looking so good. I think I just about got it. Oh, and so right here we see we've got one gargantuan breast of turkey. That makes me happy. I'm gonna so again just for a family of three, that one breast is gonna make some really banging dinner, and probably even have a little bit left for leftovers. So this part's going to be a little bit of a challenge just because I don't have much left to work with. I'm just using my index finger again to feel for that top ridge. And this is one reason I like having these cut proof gloves because, again, I'm not a pro. Um, so it keeps me from getting hurt. Well, he's cut himself before. And I've cut myself a lot, like no lie. Um, so I've had stitches in the palm of my hand from kitchen accidents and plenty of other things. Oh, so wifey's God. had to injure me making a lot of... What I call daddy words, the words I say that I don't let Don Don say, most of them have four letters and start with an F. So but any, in any case, I'm just sliding my knife right down that, that bone at the top of this turkey. And I'm kind of peeling it back as I go. I want to keep this guy as intact as possible. Come on, little buddy. And again, I know a professional chef, if they're watching this, they're going to laugh at me like this dude has no idea what he's doing. And I would agree. I have zero training. I'm just doing the best that I know how to do. And uh, that's one of the things that I want to do with the, the channel Everyone Eats is because, you know what? You don't have to be a chef. You just have to do the best that you can to make delicious food. And I want to make videos to represent that. And so here I'm just working my blade down the whole breast here. And it, to me, it looks like it's come off quite nicely. Skin, and there we have a second breast just like that and i'll set it here to the side now the wishbone we can we can see it it's it's right there just the wishbone and let's see if i can just pull it out of there it's a i've never pulled one out of a raw turkey before it's a lot easier to remove these when it's cooked so i'm going to try to do this and not no i just broke it i think i just broke it oh i broke it Oh, the wound. 
Let's see if I can oh. get the knife in there and cut it out. Come here, wishbone. So it did, it, 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 did. it stands on me. It did. It this OC grind has the mic over there. What's up? You can say it over and over. What if you keep making noises? I'm sorry to have it. So, anyway, there, here's the wishbone. And again, when you pull these out of a cooked turkey, a lot of that meat's disappeared. And I snapped it. But there's there's your wishbone. Comes right off the turkey breast, like where, where his neck would get attached. So, this even may be like where turkey's vocal cords live. Um, I'm not too sure, but I think that might be accurate. If you know what that does, drop a comment. Let me know because I like to learn things. Otherwise, I'm going to Google it later. So that's the wishbone. And so you see there's a, there's a carcass here. There's a lot of meat left on this. And again, I'm going to leave this intact. I'm going to put it in a bag and store it in the fridge so we can make a stock out of this. So I'm excited for that. I know wifey say she's over here like, wifey likes to make some stock. So in any case, um, Chris, if you would go ahead and cut it back to you. I need to wash my hands and get a few things ready so we can start prepping what we have cut apart here for our future meals. Okay. Well, uh, is uh, the, I mean, the boy having side of war on this video? If somebody on the bull or not, can we correct? Although I want to do a set or not. Um, but, uh, we can still wrap me. I can set the page. That's the point. One so whatever is uh so I hope you're enjoying not any answer question sing sing with this dude I'm so excited in here. Oh and you have um I'm so amazing. Uh, just kidding. What am I to work? Uh, prayer is sway and read that says. Was to her, uh, so I'm gonna go cast a question on you for ten or twelve days, and I'm actually lots. Here's the wish I wish on, uh, before I grow back up. I feel it's my boy. And there's all well. Me son, spread over the second. Seems to be in a way to go. But this game, uh, I would watch my bed. Talk after the apps. Try to spread leave this. Check yeah. Um, so then you look like this kind of just I still was. This is the boy. You're live right now. Say hi, don't you? They can see you. No, that's not what's supposed to be happening. <laughs> <laughs> Just about ready to go back home, Chris. I'm getting a drink. I got things almost set back up over here. Hi, I've said where I've been off the odds is Miss Robots. And I can't hear anything right now. Sorry, this is muted, so we don't have any feedback. Go ahead. I might be fixing my facial hair for me, I think. Um, All right. Where? Oh, Ray is fine, but I can't hear the other guy. Chris, did you mute yourself, buddy? Oh, it's listen here. <laughs> 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 
Oh no, Chris has robot voice again. Yeah, hold on, be right. All right, so guys, we're gonna cut back to me and and, uh, and wifey here. And wifey just pulled herself off the camera here. Chris is uh, is reloading his browser uh, to see if we can get him. Uh, not with the robot voice. Sadly, this is the second time that's happened to us. I imagine it has to do with internet connectivity issues. Um, that's one of those things that happens. Um, I'm going to bring it back on. Oh, he brought himself okay. back. Good, good. How's the audio now? Oh, much better, my dude. Much, there it is. much better. So, unfortunately, every, every once in a while, when robot voice happens, it's when I switch off the AirPods and I have to reset the uh, browser. That's all. So, it's not. Okay. That's that's why I was like I was waiting like get him back on board. <laughs> I can't talk oh, to anybody. Hey, are you are you drinking a mimosa right now? Mm -hmm. You can thank my bunny. My bunny did it. <laughs> All right. So I'm just about uh, prepped. Give me just about 15 seconds here to get ready, Chris, and uh, we'll have Whitey come back on the camera over here. And we're gonna start prepping some bird for food right. for, for for cooking. I I'll pull you off. All right, so now that uh, robot voice, and uh, I love it. They, uh, they'll know the other guy. Yes, it's a mimosa party. It is. It is mimosa o'clock, and um, apparently that's most of the time around my uh, bouncing bunny here. <laughs> She's sitting right here, chuckling, <laughs> grinning. Um, they're getting their cameras ready to to transition over into the into the kitchen, and now it's good. JJ's JJ's YouTube. I, so thank you very much. Now it's good. Appreciate that. Much better. Much better. Thank you, Laura. Maybe robot the PC if the mic is integrated. Yes. So we figured it out. Appreciate all of you your support and telling us what's going on. And uh, still, no one's answering me. When you guys eat turkeys, I'm asking this question like the third time. When do you, no, no, the second time didn't count. That's the robot voice time. And I think Ray Ray's ready. All right, here he is. All right, guys. So I'm back where I was sitting before, uh, Wendy, if you want to show this, um, show it. So sorry guys, if it gets too bright, I've got a soft box light up here, um, but I've got four pieces of tin foil out here in front of me. I've got one directly in front of me and three preps ready to go. I've got a whole bunch of seasoning here and a bottle of olive oil. For me, this is key in getting your flavors to stick to whatever protein you're using. I use it on ribs, I use it on steak, I use it on turkey. I use olive oil a lot. It adds a lot of great flavor. I think it's healthy. If you look at me, you don't think it's healthy, but it helps the yummies stick to the meat. So one of the first things I'm going to do is prep the breast that I'm going to put into the Ninja pressure cooker slash air fryer. We're going to get that one out of the way first. So I'm just going to pick up my meat and with the hand I didn't touch the turkey with, my clean hand, I'm just going to put a little olive oil loving on here. Just sprinkle it on around, and I'm going to flip it over, and I want to get some on the other side. Now, as it is, it's not doing anybody a lot of good. you got to rub it around. you got to give that meat a massage. That sounded so bad. I'm sorry, guys. That's terrible. Here, show, bring the camera up here, honey, if you would. Show everybody the, the olive oil. Look how shiny and pretty that is. And I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on this side because we want all these flavors to stick. I think your training is better than me. I, I, I've never put olive oil on my wife. Some folks might be into that. That's for another conversation, not on the Ray Ray channel. This is a family-friendly channel. But as far as the food goes, I will treat it very well. So another thing, I'm going to be pouring spices right out of the little container onto the meat. Typically, I like to mix all of them together in like a small bowl or a ramekin, if you will, just so the flavors get distributed a bit more evenly. But for the sake of this, what I'm doing here, oh, we're, we're winging it. So I like to start off with some sea salt. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt on here. And mind you, I use very little salt. Mind you, I've got high blood pressure, so salt and high blood pressure don't mix. But I like to have just a little bit on a big recipe for the flavors. So I put just a little bit of sea salt on there, a little bit goes a long way. Something I'm a huge fan of that wifey is it, so I use it sparingly, is black pepper. And I prefer to use the salad grind black pepper. You get thicker chunks of those peppercorns and I like that. It adds a light crunch to whatever you're eating, and it has big, bold flavors. So I'm going to add just a little bit. For me, that's a little bit. To a lot of people, that might be a lot of pepper, but for me, it's not very much. Paprika goes on last. 
paprika adds a beautiful color to your protein. So I'll put that, I'm gonna mix everything up on here and I'm gonna sprinkle some paprika on over that. I'm a huge fan of oregano, so I'm gonna put some of that on here as well. And I should have opened these before hands, I've only got one clean hand. I'm gonna put some oregano on this dude, sprinkle that around. We like a little heat at the Ray Ray house, so I'm gonna sprinkle on a little bit of cayenne. So cayenne, if applied like your paprika, also gives you a fantastic color when it's done and then a big thing we use we've had this about three weeks and this is garlic powder this is how much garlic we've used at the ray ray house in three weeks i'm a huge fan of garlic i use it a lot and we're just going to cover this guy like it's a vampire we're going to make sure it doesn't come bite us and steal our blood i don't think vampire turkeys are a thing in north america but they might be somewhere else and we're just going to give this guy a lot of garlic love And then using just my one clean hand, I'm just gonna tap all of these flavors down in here. I don't wanna rub them around too much because then it's just gonna make a big mess worse than it is already on my hands. A lot of folks like to wear uh, latex gloves in the kitchen when they're moving things around, that tends to help a bit as well. Um, I do that on occasion, especially when I'm grilling a lot. Um, but for the sake of this, I'm not doing that. Now that I've got all my flavor, all my love, and I call it love, I'm just gonna add some paprika all over the top of this. So paprika isn't gonna give you a whole lot of flavor, so if you use too much, you're not gonna ruin your meat. It's fantastic, it's a beautiful thing. And again, I'm just gonna press all of that down in there. It's gonna look so good later on. Then I'm gonna flip it over. And now that I've got a bare side of the breast, and I'm gonna do the whole process over, but I'm not gonna use as much, because I don't wanna over season it. I'm gonna give it a nice layer of garlic. Oh my goodness. I love garlic. Can you smell that garlic, wifey? I can. Doesn't it smell amazing? It does. So here, I'm just going to hit it with a little bit of PSG. A lot of folks say that. That's just pepper, salt, and garlic. And uh, here's my, my salt. Hit it with just a little bit of salt, not too much. And these big chunks, they're, go they're going to break down as they cook. So they look big and crunchy here. They're not going to stay big and crunchy. It's a beautiful thing. And then again, just a little bit of pepper. To make it taste amazing and then again for color because a lot of, we eat with our eyes if it looks good it makes the dining experience that much more better i'm a big fan of color on the meat so again a professional chef would never do this i'm sure they'd probably be laughing at me if they're seeing this right now like what is this big guy doing but it's fun for me i enjoy it and it tastes fantastic and i like to do this right on the foil because when i'm done here it's already got olive oil on it it's got the flavors on it. All I have to do now is just wrap it up. So one, two, three wraps, four wraps. And if you wanted to, we could even take this and throw it directly in the oven if you wanted to do that. So this would go in for me at about 300 degrees for just about an hour and a half. I would pull it out at that point and stick my meat thermometer in there and make sure it's up to temperature. Off the top of my head, I think a turkey needs to be about 180 degrees. Um, look that up and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I'm, I'm okay with being wrong. And then I would, at the end of this, I would open it up, just expose it to your the heaters and your, your convection or your conventional oven, and let it brown up and crisp a bit. Give it about 15 minutes for that. So this is prepped and ready to go. We can throw this in the oven right now if we wanted to. So here I'm going to grab just another piece of foil. And I'm going to treat, and actually I'm going to, this guy isn't going to get any love right now. This guy's going to get wrapped up. This is what I'm going to bacon wrap this guy later, right? So watch the video. I'll, I'll give you a notification when it goes live. I'm going to wrap this in bacon. It's going to get a little bit of different seasonings on it than what I used for the first turkey breast. But this is going to get wrapped in bacon and baked that way. If you've never had a bacon wrapped turkey breast, bless your heart, you're missing out. I'm going to show you all how to make one. And it definitely helps to get that tin foil pulled out in advance so we can get all this done quickly so our meat doesn't get disgusting. We definitely don't want to do that. 10% left. And also, I've got 10% left on my cell phone battery, so I've got to do this as quickly as I can with these other two here. Clean hand. Good job. So I've got a turkey leg here. 
Now this one, I'm just gonna put a little olive oil and salt and pepper on this. I don't wanna give it too much. I'm gonna use this in a recipe later and I really want the flavor of that meat to shine through. A little bit of salt and pepper helps elevate the flavor of whatever it is that they're on. We don't wanna overpower the meat. We want the flavor of the meat to shine through. What's this one going for? So we're gonna use this one on the sandwich. Okay. The, the massive sandwich we're going to make and also use this in the pot pie recipe. Okay. Yeah, you don't want a lot of spices for that. So I, you're right. I don't want a lot of spice for that. So again, I'm just going to rub this olive oil on here. I'm going to rub it all around. I'm going to flip it over. And do it again. You might move the camera again over here, honey, just so you can see that a little bit. I know you've got it pointed on me. Now, there's a little bit of, of flavor transfer from the other stuff. I mean, I've got plenty of, of stuff on my hands, but it's not going to be so much that it's going to ruin the flavor of this. Again, I just want a little bit of salt on this guy. Not a lot, but it's a little. And some pepper. And again, for me, that's not a lot of pepper. Wifey's over here trying not to sneeze right now, bless her heart. And normally I flavor on both sides. Again, this one, I don't want to do too much. I'm going to leave it just as is. This is ready to go to cook and be used in other dishes. Hmm. I just had a random idea. Uh -oh. What's that? So I love to make hot wings. I love chicken hot wings. What am I? Do a turkey wing? I think I'm going to make these turkey wings. I've never done it before. I'm going to break these down and I'm going to make chicken wings out of this. I'm going to come up with one of my favorite hot sauce blends. I, I'm not even going to do anything with these. I'm going to leave them as is. This little piece right here is complete junk. Just cut that off and throw it in the trash. The other two limbs here, um, we're going to, to turn into hot wings. I'm going to use the Ninja air fryer on these and see if I can get these crisped up. And we're going to use some hot sauce on these and go to work. What do you think is junk? Uh, the little spiky thing here on top. There's no mm -hmm. meat in that. It's just... It's flavor, though. It's flavor. We can save it for the stock. Yeah. So we can do that to get the flavor out of it. I'm okay with that. But otherwise, you can't You can't eat this little piece. You can't eat it, but you can use it in a stock. And maybe there's some cultures that, that they do that. Um, I, I personally don't. So in any case, I'm just going to grab the wings, and I'm going to come up with a random you know, hot wing recipe for you guys and show that. So for now, they get nothing. They're just getting prepped and ready to go for another day. I'm excited for all this food and all these new recipe videos. We've got a lot of work ahead of us here, and I'm excited for that. Anybody that knows me knows I love making videos. I love making people happy, and food videos, that's disgusting, make people happy. That is so, the truth. Oh, I'm short a piece of tinfoil. He needs more so, tinfoil. Um, Somebody get him tinfoil, stat. What, I, can, I can hear Chris talking. I can't hear what he's saying. You get tinfoil stat. Somebody needs to get a pinfoil. Stat. Get stat. Oh, stat. Yeah. <laughs> so tell Chris to put himself back up on there real quick if you don't oh, mind. Chris, help me out. Hold on. Just hold uh -oh. this. Use your clean hand and hold it. Use my clean hand and hold what? This thing. Stick. Oh. Oh. Okay. There we go. Sorry. You so wifey's right. going to go over here. I'm going to. She doesn't know. I'm watching her. She's going to go over to where her microwave is. And I've got a huge, huge box of tinfoil that I got at the restaurant supply store. So pro tip from Ray Ray. If you need tinfoil in a hurry, you can go to your local grocery store or uh, pharmacy, whatever you get, some tinfoil. Here, did you bring that? But in any case, I bought like a 20-pound 20, 20 roll of this stuff. It's massive. I paid like 25 bucks for it, and I've had it for two years. I haven't even used it all yet. So uh, Wow, that is a big – am I allowed to say? Yeah. So a three-letter word? Great pro tip. There's some stuff you can absolutely buy for yourself at the restaurant supply store. And it, it works out fantastic. So, wifey, can I let you be cameraman again? Yeah. Thank you. So, I'm down to my last leg. This guy I'm going to treat just a little differently. Not a whole lot. This is not going to get any olive oil at all on it. I'm going to put this down. This is going to get just a little bit of salt. Just a little bit of salt. And pepper, and only on one side. Because uh, we're going to turn this into a barbecue leg why do you like barbecue me yes yeah and i'm going to show them our favorite barbecue sauce okay. you know exactly where i'm going I'm, I'm, I do. dirty hand is not touching the fridge okay but you can point it to me if you want to it might be more interesting uh, content not by much no 
Oh. You got Jack Stack? Yes. So this is not at all a paid endorsement, but this is my favorite barbecue sauce I've had anywhere in the country. I'm trying to turn it where they can see the label. So go. Jack Stack Barbecue in Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, my number one place to get barbecue um, in Missouri. There's only one other spot in the U.S. I like better. It's in Memphis. It's called the Memphis Barbecue Company. But as far as sauce goes, their Kansas City Spicy is just, mm, it's a life changer. So, again, not a paid endorsement, but you can find these on Amazon.com and get them shipped straight to your home. So you can get it anywhere around the world. And uh, I'm, I'm probably going to put up a link to Amazon later so you guys can find this. So, but can you see this going on the on the target here? Can yes. You change the camera angle. Let's get this down because I want them to see this love. Oh my good look at that. Oh. And then I'm just gonna rub this all over the turkey breast and we're gonna let this one soak in there for at least overnight before this gets cooked. I'm gonna bake this in the oven. And I want all those flavors to just meld and marinate. And this, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. So I think we're gonna make some uh, cheesy corn. That's a staple for barbecue in Kansas City, Missouri. If you've never been there, if you've never had cheesy corn, it is a fantastic little side dish. Uh, it's one of my, my favorites. When I get to that part of the country, we don't see it too much even down here in Oklahoma. But the cheesy corn is definitely a thing in Kansas City. And I'm just gonna flip this over. And we're just gonna, dr not drown it, but we wanna have a nice healthy coat of this barbecue sauce. And if you like a different barbecue sauce, you can absolutely use it. This is just my favorite. Uh, I always keep a couple of bottles of this stuff in the house. Um, and I, I'm excited to have a turkey leg with this coated on there and just leave it soak or marinate, if you will, and just take in all these wonderful, spicy barbecue flavors. None of this is going to go to waste. Does this make you happy on the inside, wife? Because I know you're a dark meat fan, honey. That's your favorite. Mm -hmm. So everybody knows that the dark meat is the most flavorful meat um, in any of your light poultry. And when I say light, I'm talking like your, your duck. Not your duck, um, but a, a chicken or a turkey. Mm -hmm. I mean, a duck is all dark meat. Um, wifey's also a huge fan of duck. I am too. So with this guy, this is done. We're just going to wrap this up as well. Oh, my goodness. And so I've got five packages of meat here, and uh, that's a ton of meals. So that's five complete different recipes out of one single turkey. And uh, there's going to be a lot of videos for you to get. Uh, you guys are going to get to see, and hopefully that sparks some ideas for you guys to come up with your own recipes. Otherwise, you can try exactly what I'm doing at the Ray Ray House. So I need a second to wash my hands. So I don't think you guys really want to see that unless you do. Maybe you guys are into hand washing. I don't know, but I would rather you guys look at Chris for a minute. I'll be right back. <laughs> Well, hey, everybody. Uh, Ray's doing a great job here. And I'm going to suggest uh, if Wifey wants to turn that laptop around to face him, he can use that as, as, as a second camera there. Because I, I I, I've been seeing all the backstage action from uh, the <laughs> laptop camera. But uh, we've got a lot of gratitude from the Ray Ray family there. Uh, I'm going to throw up. We got another comment here. Hi, Ray. The dieting and exercise has worked so well, and I don't recognize you. It is it is definitely improving. And uh, my lovely uh, girlfriend and, and bunny here is going to go. You, is he here? Okay. There's uh, one more ingredient that she's uh, grabbing from a friend for the next show, which is not, so not on the YouTube Ray Ray show. It's going to be actually on Rand's Rants. Uh, and it's going to be on the, the channel we're, we're talking about here. So uh, make sure to follow. Let me throw that up there real quick. You need to follow our new collaborative uh, YouTube and Facebook, Everyone Eats. Now, Facebook is Everyone Eats, not, it's Everyone Eats TV, but you, you'll see the same logo that you see right up here um, on, the, on the Facebook. So I think Ray Ray's ready there. Are you ready? Tell me you're ready. You're live. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Good, good timing because I was just getting everything set back up here where I could uh, finish the stream uh, from my laptop. And you know what? I've been waiting on this, Chris. I've been waiting oh, to do this. Cheers. Oh, I love that sound. The cheers, my friend. Oh, cheers. 
Interesting. Cheers. Yes. So. I have to. I have to do this. Uh, Anna Fish says, uh, "Oh hi, Chris. Big hug from the UK. I love the UK." So she knows that I think from last time. Yeah. So big hugs. Big hugs, everybody. I haven't had a chance to do that yet today. Wait, big hugs, I everybody. Hug the camera here. There we go. All right. Yeah. So I do. I, I've seen this comment here, Chris. I'm gonna throw this up. Deborah Miller's like, "Thank you for making me smile and feel connected to others. Thank you." So well, thank you for saying that. I mean, that is what what spawned me to want to start this live stream. I want to get people together while we're all stuck at home. So thank you so much. I'm so glad I could provide that service to you. That that makes my day. Thank you so much. Heart, I'm terrible at heart hands, but I'm going to do it. Are we all doing heart hands? Yay, heart hands. I'm getting better at it because of you. You actually helped us. <laughs> well, good. I'm, I'm glad I could help you in that regard. So, man, so... Uh, that was a lot of fun for me. I don't know if it translated, but I was nervous. That's the first time I've done anything like that on camera before. Um, I have really good cooking skills, in my opinion. I don't have the best knife skills, uh, but still, we broke down a turkey. Uh, we got, you know, five things prepped up here for a lot of meals. I'm excited to share that with you guys. Yeah, I, I, you made me nervous for, my, for the next show. So I'm, uh -oh. I'm over there. Going, I need to prep more. <laughs> <laughs> But um, no, it was it was cool. And and everyone, don't forget, like, subscribe. To everyone eats on YouTube and find it on Facebook. And yes, because uh, we're absolutely. about to do another live, literally in like 50, what, what time is it? In like twenty minutes. 20, 20, 27 minutes. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna let you close out, and I'm yeah. gonna start prepping a couple things. All right, very good. I'll see you in just a few minutes, Chris. Thanks, buddy. All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video today. I, I missed out on the comments as uh, I wasn't in a spot where I could just see those. So I'm going to take just a second and scroll through a few of these things. I'd love to give you all some shout outs. And uh, I love talking to you guys. I look forward to it every single day. And uh, Lori Swanson here is talking about, uh-oh, I can't see the comment. Where did it go? Old Bay is my favorite type of heat. Whenever I'm on the East Coast and I'm eating some seafood, I want the Old Bay. That is just one of those classic flavors. I love it on lobster tail. I love it on, on some Maryland blue crabs and a whole consortium of other things. And even crawdads. Um, we're a huge fan of, of doing crawfish boils here where we live in Oklahoma. And uh, it's not traditional seating by any means if you go you know, Cajun or Creole style, but Old Bay goes fantastic on those. So let's see. You know, vampire sparkle, by the way. <laughs> So my turkey wasn't sparkling, so maybe I'll be okay with that. In any case, I'm going to hit it with the garlic anyway because you can't be too sure, right? <clears throat> Pardon me. So uh, I'm still scrolling through some of the comments here. Man, there's a lot of comments, guys. I love that. I love the conversation here. And I'm uh, sorry again about Chris's robot voice. I'm seeing uh, a few things on that. And uh, Cat Manning is I love deep fried turkey. And uh, I do too uh, for a few years. And just, I don't know if you guys have seen this on the biggest Ray Ray channel. Um, I made my first cooking video uh, two years ago, just on the spur of the moment. I made a bacon wrapped turkey every year for Thanksgiving. Um, my first attempt at ever showing people how to make food. And I thought the video was complete garbage. Um, I think it's got around 10,000 views. I think just because it's searchable. Um, but in any case, the video is way too long. Um, I was still filming with just using a cell phone only, not even an iPhone, and uh, horrible content. But if you guys do a search for bacon wrap turkey, my video is like the number one or number two uh, search that comes up on YouTube. I will be sure to check that out, and hopefully you can see some improvement from then uh, to now. Uh, but in any case, who doesn't love a bacon wrap turkey? And uh, we don't use a, a traditional stuffing. Um, wifey and I did a collaboration on the thing for that. It was mostly her idea. Um, but we have a, a delicious, delicious filling, and she's giving me a look like it was all my idea. What are you talking about, Ray Ray? I just like to pick all wifey. Um, but in any case, check that video out, see the progress. Uh, but in, in any case, I love to make turkey, I love talking to you guys. This has made my Saturday, and I'm ready to have some of this turkey likely for uh, our Easter meal tomorrow. Um, if wifey gives me the thumbs up for that, so <clears throat> excuse me here. And our friend Patsy says, hi, guys. Good to see you. Best wishes from Scotland. So thank you, Patsy, for tuning in from Scotland. I appreciate you. Here, why don't you say hi to Patsy, honey? I don't. Yeah, so Wivy's a big fan of Scotland. Here, say, I say hi to Patsy. 
So did you get to say hi to Ann earlier, our friend from the UK? Um, no. I think I saw her on there, but... Okay. Hi. All right. And Laura Goodell says bye-bye. So see you, Laura. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. And I should wave with this hand so I'm not covering up wifey's face. But, guys, I've got to jump off of here so I can go over and help Chris with his live stream. Um, I'm, I know I've said it once and he said it, but if you would, please look in the uh, in the description down below for the new channel that we just launched last night called Everyone Eats. We've got two videos up right now on how I make a rack of baby back ribs and also a way to fancy up some basic stuff for a cheeseburger. Um, so I'm a big, big fan of that. Hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. And a Kitty J Puffs is bonjour, Ray. So Kitty, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you being here. So, all right, guys, have a great day. I look forward to talking to you tomorrow on Easter's. And I keep covering up Wifey's face. I'm right-handed. I, I, it's habit. My apologies. So thank you all for hanging out. I appreciate you guys. I hope you have the time to check out Chris's live stream. I'll be on there with him in just a few minutes. So have a great day, a great evening. Please stay safe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Big hugs. Big hugs. Looks like a fine. Oh. oh.